Algebra 2, 1.8c, order of operations with brackets, braces, parentheses, and exponents. When an equation or expression contains many grouping symbols, we start from the innermost group and work outwards. So in this one, you can see the orange 1 plus 3 is the innermost part that needs to be solved. So the first thing we're going to do is do the 1 plus 3 and get a 4. So we did inside these parentheses, the innermost grouping symbol. Now, because it has this little 2 exponent, we're going to do that next. So 4 to the second power is a 16. Now we're going to multiply it by this 4 because it's inside of these brackets. So we're slowly working our way out from the parentheses. Now we're to inside the brackets. 4 times 16 is a 64. Now we're going to do out here, which is inside the braces. We're going to multiply it by 2 and get 128. So we started here, we did our exponent, we did our 4, and then we did our 2, and slowly moved our way outward. Now the normal order of operations says that we do parentheses first, and then we do exponents, and then we multiply or divide in order from left to right, and then we add or subtract in order from left to right. But this doesn't mean that you always do exponents second, because we may have to do them as needed, all right? So I'll give you some examples in a second. Here we have 3 squared minus 9 times 6. First thing we're going to do is this exponent. 3 squared is a 9. And now we're going to jump to the multiplication. 9 times 6 is 54. And we're going to subtract 9, take away the 54. And it's going to give us a negative 45. All right? There were no grouping symbols. So we just did the exponent first, then we multiplied, and then we subtracted. See? We kind of went... 1, 2, and then 3, didn't we? All right, now look at this one. We have six steps to this one. We're going to evaluate the exponents as needed because we have one here on the inside of the brackets and we have one here on the outside. So the first thing we're going to do is inside the parentheses, we're going to do this 8 minus 13 plus 2. That's going to give us a negative 3. Now, because this is a base, we have to do this little 3 exponent. Negative 3 to the third power is negative 27. So now we've done the first part and the second part, and we've got negative 27 for all of this. Now we're going to multiply by 2. That's this 2 up here, because we need to multiply and divide from left to right. So negative 27 times 2 is a negative 54. So now part... Numbers 1, 2, and 3, all of this equals a negative 54. Now, the fourth thing we're going to do is divide by 6. Now we're going to do this divide by 6. Negative 54 divided by 6 is a negative 9. Now we're going to add the 2. Negative 9 plus 2 is a negative 7. Now we're going to do the exponent on the outside. So see that we didn't do the exponents together like right in the beginning after the parentheses? Because this one is outside the bracket, it's going to be done last. That's our sixth step. So negative 7 squared is a positive 49. We evaluated the exponents as we needed to. All right, now I've got one with lots of grouping symbols. Look at all these steps, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is the innermost parentheses. We have parentheses, we have brackets, and we have braces. So we're going to start inside the parentheses. 3 plus 2 is 5. The next thing we're going to do, number 2, is this exponent here. And 5 squared is a 25. The next thing we're going to do is subtract this 3. Now I know there's an exponent there, but we're going to add from left to right. We're still inside these brackets here. So we're going to subtract 3. We've got 25 take away 3 is 22. Now we're going to do the exponent. 2 squared is a 4. So 22 plus this 4 is a 26. Now we're at step 5. Right here we're going to add this 1. We're still inside the bracket. 26 plus 1 is a 27. Now we're outside the bracket. We did everything inside the parentheses and the brackets. Now we're inside the braces here. So step 6 is dividing by 9. 27 divided by 9 is a 3. And now we do this little 3 exponent on the very, very outside of the braces, the curly braces out here. We're going to do that last. And 
3 to the third power is 27. So this whole thing equaled 27, okay? Which is silly because we were right there when we were at step 5, right? But by continuing on, we ended up with 27 again. All right, take a look at this one. It seems a little smaller, but it's still just as difficult. We're going to start with this exponent inside the parentheses. So 3 squared is 9. Now we're going to add the 4. That's step 2. 9 plus 4 is 13. Now we're going to multiply it by this 2 inside the bracket. 13 times 2 is 26. And outside the bracket is the last thing we do is this negative 2 exponent. That means it's a fraction, right? So 26 to the negative 2 means 1 over 26 to the second power. See? The whole thing got reduced to a fraction. All right? So to remember, just remember to start at the innermost grouping symbol, the very, very inside one, and multiply and divide from left to right, and add and subtract from left to right, and do the exponents as needed. So if you have exponents here, then do that one. Do this one, and this one is going to end up being last. Just because the old order of operations you learned from grade school said that exponents were second doesn't mean that we have to do all those exponents second. We may have to do other operations first because of the brackets and the braces and the parentheses, okay? So it makes it very, very different, doesn't it? Start from the inside, work your way out, all right? Our next video is 1.9a, and we're going to talk about converting between scientific and standard notation. And if you want to see any of the previous videos we've made for Chapter 1 so far for this Algebra 2 playlist, all you have to do is click on the description of this video, and it'll take you right to them, all right? Great review for a chapter test. I'll see you next video. Bye.